Uh, tax day is here. Even though we had a few extra days to file this year, some folks still might not make it for that midnight deadline. Right, it's nail biting time. News 8's Laura Hutchinson is helping you stretch your dollar tonight with some options. Even if you feel like time is up, it's important you do something to avoid those costly penalties. With more than 150 million Americans rushing to file their tax returns, it probably comes as no surprise that millions and millions of us aren't close to being ready. And this year, we even get a few extra days to crunch those numbers. So with that deadline looming, what's a taxpayer to do? What you need to remember is that you have to file something. Filing your return is the best way to go. The penalties for not filing or late filing are far greater than the penalties of late payment. However, there is another option. You can always file an extension, which will then give you until October to complete your return. If you owe, try to pay as much as you can as soon as you can. That will stop any fees as well as those painful penalties. There are several simple ways to do so, including paying online, by phone, by check, or even using your personal personal credit card. On the other hand, if you happen to be one of the lucky ones getting money back, you still need to file your tax return and the IRS isn't going to give you your refund unless you file your tax return. With that in mind, the IRS is sitting on about $1 billion in unclaimed refunds. Taxpayers have three years from the time the tax is due to claim one. So April 18th is the last day taxpayers can receive a refund from the 2013 tax year. If you have a fairly simple return that you can do yourself, we have some apps and sites that you can visit at home right now so you're at least filed before deadline. Find those on WTNH.com. Helping you stretch your dollar, I'm Laura Hutchinson, News 8.